Hello everyone, it's Christmas in July at Rayfield. And in July, we just go all out and celebrate the Christmas holiday all over again. It gives us the opportunity to do a lot of things that we want to do and we want to do them well. One of the things that I like to do is the holiday spirit. Um, I love wearing my holiday sweater. Everybody laughs because they only see it once a year. Well, now twice a year, I get to wear my favorite sweater. And we get to do some favorite things like Christmas cookies. Uh, we get to string the popcorn for the Christmas trees. We actually put the Christmas trees up and all of the holiday decorations that go along with it. So I'm responsible for doing snack this month. Chef Anthony is going to give you some great holiday dishes. I'm going to share a snack with you each week. So to begin with, my first snack is going to be a holiday popcorn. And even though I want to make sure that we remain healthy, sometimes we go out on a limb during the holidays. And in July, as you know, it's Independence Day and 4th of July, and everybody has a big barbecue at the beginning of the month with a lot of different types of dishes that everybody loves. Well, of course, we're supposed to eat our healthy snacks, and these are some of the ones that I really love, and of course, everybody loves their grapes. And those are great snacks. But right now, during the holiday time, we're going to have some snacks that are not so healthy, but not too way out on the limb. So let me share one with you. I'll show you a nice popcorn snack. How about that? I'm gonna take you over to my microwave here, and I'm gonna share with you some of the items that I've chosen. Well, I chose my popcorn. And I'm gonna show you how to pop that popcorn. And I've chosen some things to mix with my popcorn. I chose some regular M&Ms and some caramel M&Ms. And then I'm gonna add to it my cupcake, pearls, I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna put in a few pretzels, okay? So first, let's take a look at the popcorn. We're going to go ahead and hit our button on the popcorn machine here. Let's come over a little bit so you can see it. There you go. I'm gonna press stop. I'm going to press that button that says popcorn. And then I'm going to press the button that says start. So I started my popcorn going there. And as my popcorn is going, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about hydrating. It's really important now during this time of year, in July, of course, that we stay hydrated. And we talked about this in our last couple of snack lessons. Even when I did the peanut butter and jelly sandwich and some other things, we talk about the fact that it's very, very important every day to drink our water and so we've been giving everybody a bottle of water and even to help out we're hydrating with different types of things last week it was the Hawaiian punch mix that we put in there this week we found an energy drink it says blueberry Aki okay and they don't carry a lot of sugar but they help us to like our water a little bit more than we normally do. It might be a great idea to try to drink your water by itself, but if you can't, let's try to flavor it a little bit so that you like it enough to drink all of your water. It's really, really important. So as our popcorn is continuing to pop, let us take a look at some of the things we want to put in our popcorn once it's ready to go. So the first thing that we're going to put in our bowl here is our M&M's. Put some M&M's in there. Okay. And like I said, I'm putting different ones in there, not just one type of M&M's. 
put in a couple. And of course, like I said, guys, I realize we're splurging, but it's a holiday. So we're going to try and splurge a little bit, but we're also going to try to still kind of keep it a little bit healthy. All right, so it sounds like our popcorn is popped. And there it is. So let's put in our popcorn. You heard the button go off, right? Okay. So we're going to put our popcorn in there with our M&Ms. Can you see it? I put the M&Ms on the bottom, but I'm going to mix it up. Okay. And then we're going to open our sprinkles. And we're going to put some sprinkles in there. Can you guys see that? It's looking really pretty. Okay. So now we're going to mix it up a little bit. So you can kind of see what that looks like. I'm mixing it up with my, um, with my, my bowl, my plate that I put on top of it. Try and put some more sprinkles on it so you can see that it looks really, really festive. And you got all that in there with your sprinkles on top. sprinkles and our holiday mix and after this is all done I'll show you what it looks like at the end it tastes really great and it's not too far off on the deep end that we're really eating too many sweets um, because the popcorn is kind of light um, anytime you diet which I do a lot it tells you that you can have popcorn as long as you don't put a lot of butter on it and the last item that I'm going to add in here are a few pretzels. You just kind of mix it up a little bit. And we got a holiday mix. Kind of reminds you of like a... Put everything on top of it. And there you go. Got a whole bunch of holiday mix. And that's our 4th of July, Christmas in July snack for this week. So remember I said it was popcorn, it was M&Ms, two different types, and it was our sprinkles, okay? And our regular popcorn. So we just kind of mixed everything up together and there we have our holiday snack and we're not overdoing it and anytime we have a snack or anything else we have to eat in moderation remember the key is to eat a amount a serving a serving amount let me say that the opposite way to eat a serving but not two or three servings and then that way you're not overdoing it and that goes for anything always eat a serving equivalent to one serving and as I say stated when we started it's always appropriate for us to look for the healthy snacks the apples the orange the grapes those are things that we do every single day but then sometimes on holidays we want to go with a little bit more of a snack but we want to make sure that we don't overdo it so I want you guys to Stay tuned. Um, every time we have a meal demonstration, we also go over the food pyramid and the amounts of food that we should be eating every day and how we should be taking care of ourselves and making sure that we get in all of our water and all of our vitamins and that we eat the equivalent of our fruits and our vegetables, our meats and our dairy products and the serving sizes that we should be using when we do that. So the next thing we'll do is we'll take a look at our food pyramid or now called our healthy plate. 
enjoy, enjoy, enjoy our snack for this activity and have a great day. It is Christmas in July. Take care.